video. So, hi everyone. So, today I want to show you one of my last tools. It's actually a library, it's not really a tool. So, this library lets me easily have an interactive debugging in Maya. So, when I have to debug transformations, so basically, lately at work, I have dealing have been dealing with a lot of matrices quaternion rotation based on fixed pivot and so on so there are often this kind of algorithms uh, requires quite a bit of work and uh, of course it doesn't work at the first try so you need some trial here and there and the main thing is being able to visualize what you're doing because of course you can print the text and printing text of n metrics Quaternions or vectors is extremely painful in Maya. And it's most of the times, seeing some text number don't really tell you much. Okay? So sometimes watching a vector, you can understand if you got the right vector, uh, sorry, you know, if you got the right vector from a cross product by checking just the numbers. Because okay, you expect the x to be positive, yeah, you get a negative x. So you understand you got it wrong, so you have to invert the, the operation. But that's one of the small cases in, in which seeing the numbers is actually easy, you know. Otherwise, seeing numbers doesn't tell you that much. Most, I found myself most of the time creating locators, copying the values and see where the locator was getting in order to see that. So I decided to change that. And I built this library that lets me basically drawing in the Maya viewport, uh, but the cool thing is that I didn't use any plugins, so I don't have any external plugins, or I I don't need a custom node and so on. Basically, I'm just using the Python API. So now I'm going to show you how it works. So, so first of all, um, the library is quite flexible. I can provide a lot of input data. So, for example, if I want to draw a matrix, okay, uh, what can I do? I can provide the, the name of the transform. I can provide, for example, the n matrix directly, or if I have to draw a vector, I can provide a list, uh, an n vector, an n point, and the, the script. Although well, my library is smart enough to get the data, do do the proper conversion and so on. So. Let's start with uh, with the matrix, no? So that's my my locator, and I want to draw it. Here we go. So now I draw the corresponding matrix of the locator of the locator in the Maya viewport. So you can see, and I can also move and it stays there. The reason is because it stays there because the drawing is connected with the callbacks with the move of the of the viewport. Uh, in order to do that easily, I have a custom class that deals with all the kind of different callbacks, so it's really easy to manage that. So I just now I just need to do the clear and the kill the drawing. Okay, so doesn't make make much sense to draw a matrix like that because of course you can just show the local vector axis. But let's think if you don't have a transform because you got that matrix. You know, from different multiplications, matrix multiplication, you want to show the result. So, for what you can do, so I have some some custom procedures to easily get a matrix. So, for example, so my matrix is going to be get n matrix. It actually get the word matrix and convert that to an n matrix of locator one. Okay, there we go. So now, as you can see, I have my M matrix and I can provide this M matrix there. So even if I don't have this locator, okay, oops, my bad. There we go. I can still draw the matrix. Okay. So let's try to make a more smart example. So, for example, so let's clear. So let's create a couple of locators. So I have this locator, 
and where is the people not know so and I want to multiply the matrix of that locator for a matrix of the second locator and I want to print out the result. So my matrix one is going to be locator one and my matrix two is going to be the same from locator two. Let's actually create a third one. So what I'm going to do is get the relative matrix from the first one to the second and multiply that by the third matrix. So it doesn't make make any sense, but just to see that like, you can concatenate several operations and then you can see the result. So now the final matrix is going to be my matrix multiply my matrix two for the inverse and multiply by my matrix three. There we go. And then I want to draw the result. There we go. Hmm. My bad, I forgot the equal there. So where is the result? Here we go. So that's actually the result of the operation we just did. Okay? So you see it's really easy to debug transformation this way. So that's not the only thing you can do, you can also draw vectors, of course. So for example, if you want to go arrow, you can draw an arrow. And what I can provide again here, I can provide m vector and point transform. So for example, let's provide two transforms. So locator three. And locator one. And that is going to draw my vector. So it actually is drawing also, and also drawing the matrix. So basically you can add as much stuff as you want to draw. So you, you cannot just add one stuff at a time, you can add as much as you want. So here we have my vector, I can also add another one. So locate okay, a few of that. I can add locate okay, a four. I don't have locate okay, a four, my bad. So you can see you can do a lot of stuff, but that's not all. We can also, oops, clear out. Okay, so what what I can also do is draw angles. So for example, if I want to see an angle between three locator, I can use the opposite function. So, so let's draw angle. And I just need to provide, for example, three transform or three again and vector and point, whatever, or even matrices. So I don't remember the names. One, three, three. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go. Oops, okay, I need to clear up. There we go. So, that's you can see it's my angle. Here is how many much is it. So, right now, it's just drawing the shortest angle, but in the next, in the next update, I want to implement the, the possibility to draw the, the longest angle. Okay, so you can still, another thing you still can do is to draw quaternion. So, let's do that. Let's put out the crap here. And there we go. So, quaternion. So, you can draw quaternion by, you can build actually a quaternion by giving an axis and an angle you want to work on. Uh, so we're going to do the same and our axis is actually going to be a vector and a base 
for, for this vector, so we can place this vector in the word, and we are going to provide an angle for that. Okay, so again, we can provide transform or a vector, whatever we want. In this case, I'm just going to provide two transform. So, sorry guys, right now I'm just working with transform because it's easier, because I don't have to get manually the data, but the real application for that is when you're doing bounding transformation, so you're not dealing with transforms, but you're dealing with matrices, vector. So, the library can handle that as well, so rather than the pass and transform, you can just throw in a, a vector, which can be the word position of your transform, or it can be the uh, the x axis of your transform, whatever you need. Okay. So let's use this one for example. So we'll table one. Go table three. And I want to to have a spin of let's say 48, 495 degree. And I want to set draw plane to off. So let's join the matrix if I want to. There we go. So if you don't, we're going to watch that our quaternion, which is represented by this axis in this rotation of 48.953. We can change that and we can pull it off you know, 148, for example. Here we go, so that's our vector. And we can also draw the plane. So the plane the plane gives gives us an even more visual feedback of what we are doing. Okay. So we can see here we see really how much we are spinning and so on. So the only thing it's still missing in the library is that we can want to be able to align uh, this plane to a given vector, it doesn't really mean much because it's just pure a, a visual thing. Because for a quaternion, you, you don't align a quaternion. So, but for example, if you have like so, uh, I don't know, like those three vectors, so three locators, you want to locate rotate this locator in order to go match that one. Or to rotate by that angle, you probably want to see this vector pointing here and the resulting vector pointing there. But that's that's just a more artistic thing. So you see, you can move, you get your quaternion and everything. So that's my my library, and uh, I already used that, and it's extremely useful, it speeds up the developing a lot because you don't spend time printing, moving locators around and so on, so you can really see what you're doing, that's really really helpful. Okay, so I hope that what I show can be helpful to, to someone and any comment and feedback are more than welcome. Bye bye.